Hi, I'm Kerry Southorn, and this is Leadership Radio. And welcome to another adventure into leadership excellence. And while you're here, how about subscribing? Give us a like, and we'd love to see your comments. Today we've got a special video for you as we look at a story from the 1918 pandemic with the Spanish flu. But before we get to that, you know, not all acts of leadership are great world-changing events, like Churchill's brilliance at Dunkirk, or Caesar crossing the Rubicon, or Reagan saying to Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Some acts of leadership are just humble acts of servant leadership, taking what you have to do what you can to make a difference in someone's life. And my Auntie Emmy wrote a journal where she recorded how some of the neighbors came together to help their family through the Spanish flu pandemic. And it's especially meaningful for me because my mother was just a baby at the time. And my Auntie Emmy writes, uh, Dad made himself a bed in the living room. Her dad had been stricken with the flu. I was upstairs and some of the others. Mother and the rest were downstairs. She would not let anyone in the house. We had the phone and the neighbors kept phoning to see what they could do. One kind neighbor lent his car to another neighbor to come and do our chores. He milked the cow and fed and watered her and the other cattle, horses, pigs, chickens, once a day. He would set the milk outside, mother strained it, wash the pail, and put it outside until the next morning. He never took the flu. So mother managed and brought us all through safely. Isn't that a beautiful story of people taking what they had to do what they could to make a difference. And when it comes to leadership, it makes all the difference when it makes a difference in you. We'll see you next time.